I had a good and valid question from a gentleman called Travis who I've been speaking to on and off for the last couple of months in, uh, in the USA in Colorado and his question was to do with what pressure he ought to be storing his air rifle when it's fitted with the regulator at and I gave him an answer and then away I went to another think and I thought well I ought to come back and give a little bit more advice on this so people under, understand what they should be doing or shouldn't be doing so we'll start with the gas field regulator and we'll use this simple syringe just to demonstrate it so anybody out there who's got a gas field regulator which are extremely rare which uses gas in a chamber to work back and forth to open and close the, the valve. Uh, if you've got one of these and nobody's actually spoken to you about it, I think you're most likely best to keep that rifle stored at the regulator pressure. So if the, the gas in the regulator is set for 100 bar, then when you put the gun away to store it for weeks on end, the pressure in the main air reservoir section should be at 100 bar and the air in the outlet valve chamber be at 100 bar so all three chambers will be at the same pressure the reason for that is if you've seen the video on why does my regulator need a breathe hole for a regulator using a spring or a Belleville washer and it talks about you know gas permeation and how it loves to migrate no matter how sealed the object it is from one chamber to another when there's a variance in pressure then uh, that's why so you know if you've got your rifle and there's three thousand pounds per square inch in the main reservoir your regulator's only got a thousand pounds per square inch in it and so is the outlet valve chamber then over time there is a, a more likelihood that the air pressure from the main air reservoir will leak into the uh, regulated chamber of 100 bar obviously increase it and then that will cause the regulator to fail which has been a common thing which is why you don't see many gas regulators about or on the market so if you do buy a, a gun off somebody who's had one for years and years and not used it and it's a gas regulated gun and you're going to restore it and use it with the gas regulator in it my advice is uh, keep the regulator the, the rifle stored at the pressure to what the, the regulator is at uh, and if you if you don't if the gun hasn't got a pressure gauge on it because they're generally older guns fire it down till it's quite low and then when you refill the gun if you know that the, the chamber's got a hundred bar in it just refill so that your main air reservoir is also at a hundred bar and then that'll give you three pressures exactly the same and the chances of the gas leaking from one to the other in either direction is uh, a lot lot slimmer so that's those the advice in regards to the Belleville washer and the conventional coil compression spring is going to be in general the same although they're obviously you know differ vastly in their design the function and what they're made of is very similar the type of materials and that the way they work with the compression and work of the, the spring and elasticity of the, of the spring steel. So with both of these, the Belleville stack, when these are all stacked in a stack, and the conventional coil spring, it's important for you to know what the maximum working pressure of that regulator is. That's not what you've got it set at but what its maximum working pressure is. So you might have one of my regulators in with the conventional coil compression spring and it's running at 80 bar. But the actual maximum working pressure that I recommend is around 140 bar. I have had them up to about 150, 160, but the maximum recommended is 140. So you need to contact whoever it is or at the time of purchase or look in your instruction manual and find out what the maximum working pressure is for your regulator no matter whether it's the Belleville or the spring. The reason for this is you don't want to keep the regulator you know stressed so you know it's if this is so with, with this at 80 bar it's under say half compression and that's perfectly okay. So if your rifle's at 80 bar working pressure, you can keep your rifle stored indefinitely without any problems at, you know, fully charged 
and a safety bar that's no no problem and if you've got a regulator that's got the Belleville spring washers in it if I can get my hands on this he says a Belleville stack and also and you know the manufacturers have said to you all well, the maximum settable pressure is 140 bar and you're running it at 80 bar then there isn't really any issue now if you've got one of my regulators and it's set at 140 or you you know once you've got it screwed it up a little bit more and the same if you've got one of the regulators with the Belleville washers in and it's really the manufacturer's maximum set pressure this will mean that the spring or the Belleville stack is virtually compressed down to solid uh, and although this shouldn't really shouldn't really have a long you know effect in the long term as in you know a few months and a couple of years we've never had any problems with the springs coming back having lost any strength but it wouldn't really be best practice to leave it stood around continuously uh, at full compression so my advice would be is if you've got one of my regulators with the conventional spring in it then you're best to store it at probably 100 120 bar so as the spring isn't fully compressed down so that means that the the air in the main reservoir chamber is as 100 to 120 bar and then just top that up when you come to use the gun and that goes for the same with a regulator that you might have of somebody's with the Belleville spring washers in you know if they've said to you all oh, the maximum working pressure of that you know and the, when the springs are pressed flat is 100 bar then really you know you don't want to be storing it at that sort of pressure because these washers will just be instead of having a slight cone shape they'll just be crushed completely flat indefinitely so you probably be best to store the rifle at a lower pressure and then top it up with air when you actually come to use it and that would you know increase the longevity of it so that's my advice with storing them there shouldn't really be a problem but best practice would be if your regulator is going to be set on the limit of its working pressure then to store it uh, for periods set lower than that so i.e maximum working pressure say for both of these is 140 then keep your gun only topped up and stored at 100 120 bar and then just top it up to full pressure 200 230 bar when you come to use it i think that's the best advice I can give in regards to that subject.